Hi, uh, today we have a very interesting topic to talk about and uh, I'm going to talk about uh, mind hacking, hack your mind, yes, metacognition that is the topic we talk about. It was a long time back we believed that brain is static and uh, it has got fixed routes of neurons to travel but the world now for about a decade believes in uh, neuroplasty, it can be trained, in fact it can be also hacked. It's not about thinking, it is actually thinking about thinking, meta thinking. And I'm talking about this issue, which is where mind hacking as a term popularized by Sir John Hargrove. And Sir John Hargrove is basically uh, uh, is, is written a book on this. I'm trying to pick up certain facts from there and then trying to pass on to you who are preparing for examination as to how you can possibly go on hacking your mind and go into that metacognition to achieve some wonderful result in the process. In fact, uh, I, I would tell you one of the tools is that you've got to be constantly logging into your mind and get the deep work, so to say, uh, performed in the process. Keep reminding yourself, I mean, when you think about thinking, keep reminding yourself that you have to think about your task. And this way you find that uh, you are able to really give command to your mind and then you would have lesser of distraction. So what happens is that we are like focused on the task and then we are distracted. When you're distracted, you remind your mind that you have to focus on your task. Gradually you will find that your distraction span is going down and concentration span is uh, growing. And that is one tool that I would like to do. Do go into your mind, log into your mind, and then give command and keep repeating giving command that, hey, you have to do this. And then it starts staying on the task for longer duration. Another tool that we can talk about is that avoid multitasking. The more your mind you have got, uh, uh, I would say, uncluttered, the more it performs, the better it performs. And I strongly believe in this fact. If you have given everything to one thing, that one thing would never disappoint you. That has to be borne in mind. So keep your mind uncluttered. Keep your mind away from doing so many things together and block your time for the task, not the other way around. Not task for your over time, but you have to block your time for a task and then having a sort of, uh, I would say, economics of times because your economics of time gives you attention. Your attentions are, spans of attentions are very counted. And if you just stick to that task, the one that you are focused on, I suppose you get better results coming out. So keeping the mind uncluttered and that's one other tool which I would like to tell you if you want to hack your mind. Third thing I would like to tell you is that uh, use Toyota's technique, uh, the, the famous company Toyota comes from there. So this Toyota technique is that, I mean, you, 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 whenever you find a task which is not happening, ask questions, ask questions, questions, and questions, 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 and then ultimately get to a level where you find it very, very easy. Just to take an example, I can say that if you're not writing a good answer, ask why I did not write a good answer is probably because I have not written enough. Why did not I write enough? Because I was feeling lazy. Why I was uh, feeling lazy? Because nobody is pointed that I am lazy. And now you have been pointed that, hey, you are lazy. I think you just go on asking why is standard route. They say like five whys, but I would say, go on asking why is as many times till you get to a level, get to a point where you have got your answers waiting for you. And this is one way I would like you to uh, use your technique to hack your mind, to get to a level where mind says, oh, all right, I am working. And this is something which is what I want you to actually use. Another is that uh, one more tool that I like to tell you, I don't want to really uh, make this uh, discussion too long. Journaling your task is very important. That a physical reference that you have got and make it visible. Every day you tell your mind that uh, I have uh, to study uh, that many hours or I have uh, to revise that many hours. I have uh, to write answers that many hours. I have to do this task that many hours and sit down in the evening 
and honestly go on writing that go on writing in fact give your mind a command back that hey this is what you targeted this is what you have done you will find that uh, you would find that how much time is being given to the main thing i suppose i as i, as I always tell people a lot of times main thing doesn't remain main thing and that is the main thing i would like to tell you that uh, you should ensure that urgent does not hijack the important a lot of time the urgent things hijack the important things i would like you to journal that i would like to write that and then when you write that you keep on looking at it you will get a a beautiful productivity matrix produced in the process and you would know as to how you perform and where you perform in fact these are some of the working tools i have tried to uh, use the tools which was uh, provided by Uh, Sir John Hargrave, and based on his ideas, I have tried to give certain points which can be useful to the students who are aspiring for examinations and then working towards that. This is a beautiful tool. You can really use your mind to come to get commanded to perform, and that is giving command to your mind, thinking about thinking, meta thinking. It was all that was wanted. I wanted to share, and. I'm sure you're going to make good use of that. My best wishes are with you.